Anthony, today I want to talk to you about Amethyst, the Mac-only um, tiling window manager. And here's what a tiling window manager does. So we're going to see a few of my applications. Let's see Chrome first. And so you see it opens in full screen. And now we can add my terminal. It takes a second to open. I'm not sure why it's not appearing. Here it is. This is terminal. And let's try opening fire, uh, drops as well. Let's see what that does. So you see a tiling window manager generally opens windows dis or displays windows in a particular layout so this one it presents as tall and the other two take a quarter of the screen and as you add more windows the layout changes based on that layout that you have so since my layout is set for one tall, one column, and then the other, um, the other column displays the other applications. The if I were to open more windows, more windows would simply fill up the spaces over here, and each application window would get smaller to to accommodate the new window opened. We've all uh, become accustomed to window managers on Linux such as BSPWM which is right here. This is the uh, GitHub page for it. And then we have Qtile and then here we have the awesome window manager. It's based on Python, and they're all um, these are all for Linux. They're more uh, window tiling managers are more common in Linux than they are for the Mac. Amethyst is the only window manager tiling window manager that I've seen that works for um, Mac OS. You can open the preferences for amethyst this way by hitting the um, football shaped icon in the menu manager and get going to preferences here are the keyboard shortcuts and here is the layout tab so you have tall, wide, and full column screen. And to go through all the options that you have available, we can hit option shift and space. So this is a wide and two small windows. This is full screen. This is three columns. This is one column and the other two quarters. And again, as soon as you add more windows, so let's try to open Firefox and see what happens with that. We're going to close out our preferences here. And open Firefox. Yeah, it simply opens 
makes more space in the second column because of the restrictions of the layout that I have selected. So, what do you guys think of the macOS win tiling window manager Amethyst? Let me know in the comments below. Would you guys use a tiling window manager? Would you uh, keep going with the traditional uh, window management that you have now, which is you'd have to lay out and size them uh, yourself. Uh, now, you should know that this is a dynamic window manager, meaning that the uh, windows will open and go into locations that are predetermined, as opposed to one that you'd have to do manually. Manually meaning you'd have to program um, where you want each window to go. I think you can do that um, in Amethyst as well, but for the most part, it has a um, layout selected for you, and you can select it from layouts that are predetermined, which is the layouts are, again, we've seen them. Um, they are right here. Not the shortcuts, but the layouts. And then you can add more as you um, get more familiar with the program. But I must say that I decided not to use Amethyst after the first day because it interfered with um, macros from Keyboard Maestro. The, ma the macro would run and the Amethyst Silent Window Manager would interfere causing the macro to fail and not click on the proper spots because the windows were resized. So I decided I would much prefer Keyboard Maestro to work properly as opposed to using a tiling window manager. What do you guys think? Would you use a ti window tiling manager? Let me know in the comments. Alright guys, that's all I have for this video. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And let me know what you guys think of Amethyst. Oh, and by the way, you can download Amethyst by using Homebrew. Alright guys, I will see you in the next video.